I thought that this guy, his strength would be in his resolve, and he still has great physical power as opposed to speed. And he's not jumping through the air. He's not that kind of guy. I was only thinking about how can I create a villain that I would think would be fun to do. This character, I mean, you've, you've mentioned it before that you have played multiple villains over your career. You've played various types of roles and things like that, but this is the latest in a long line of cool villains to go up against Sylvester Stallone. Like you've got all the different characters. Did you think about any of those other adversaries he's played against in films when you were performing for this role? Not at all. I was only thinking about how can I create a villain that I would think would be fun to do. Um, you don't see it in a context. You see this, I'm doing a sly film. Mm -hmm. But for me, I got brought on by Julius Avery. So for me, this is a Julius Avery film with Sly, Juana, rest of the cast in it. Um, so I never really quite saw it like that. I kind of like the way you're saying it because it kind of makes sense that of course you want to step in the lines of those incredible villains uh, his characters has met throughout the time. But not really. I, for me, it was more important that I've had fun doing it, if you know what I mean. For the city yeah. implodes. I think we're finished oh. here. I thought that this guy, his strength would be in his resolve, and he still has great physical power as opposed to speed. And he, he's not jumping through the air. He's not that kind of guy. He's like a very, very, very powerful individual that is still sort of in the world of reality a little bit. He can't fly. He can't see through you know walls or whatever. Fire doesn't come out of his mouth. He's just a unique sort of superhero. He's almost like a modern day Hercules. You know what I mean? That kind of a mythic hero. And I think those are ones that you can identify with. You say, oh, he can die. For some people, it's too late to change the damage they've done. He's hiding something. I want him dead. Yeah, really? and, and having worked with Julius in the past, did he have a different style of directing this film than he did when you worked with him previously? The good thing with Julius is, Julius gives a lot of responsibility to his actors. He kind of likes them taking control and giving something, but he also demands a lot from them. He is really actor's director, if you know what I mean. He's very visually specific. He's very incredible in creating visual worlds, cinematic worlds that feels realistic, that feels real so you as an actor can react to what happens in the scene because it's got this texture to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And in, in, in Overlord, I played a Nazi zombie, which is <laughs> pretty far out, but we, we kind of grounded it in something, maybe not real, but it felt real when we did it. And it's the same thing with, with Cyrus. They're two very different characters. First of all, one's got an American accent, and another one has got a German and French accent and completely different time periods, etc. You always, when you, and I got a lot of villains. And dude, man, seriously, I got like five, four villains coming out the next year. Is dead. I pick up garbage for a living, pal. Married and cleaned up the streets. <laughs> you mind your business, I'll mind mine. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. There is something about on the ground, boots on the ground experience. I have been everything from a doorman to like bartender to cutting fish heads to working in lion's cages to a movie usher where you have, you're the third one who wears the same tuxedo. So you have two other guys B.O. and people are blaming it on you. I mean, you just, I understand how the whole process works. And we, you know, you got to be a little humble and, Eat, eat, you know, eat a little humble pie to get through it all. But you learn, you you really learn. And I think it just adds to the human experience. And so I think, like, for example, I enjoy acting now more than when I was 30, 35. You think you know everything, you know nothing. I think the soft spot in a man's head doesn't get hard to like about 41. You just, you're still learning. You think you got it under control, not quite. What do you learn? Wait up, wait up. 
What do you do with all this junk? Keeps me busy. Another long night of crime and violence. Some say it's only a matter of time before the city implodes. I think we're finished here. Go on, beat it. I found him. Samaritan. Samaritan died 25 years ago. That's what they say. You think you live across from a superhero? Do you have a therapist, kid? Kid. Samaritan's dead. I pick up garbage for a living, pal. Samaritan cleaned up the streets. <laughs> you mind your business, I'll mind mine. I don't believe you! Are you okay? I'm cool. How strong are you? Not as strong as I once was. Things start to fall apart when you stop carrying. And I stopped carrying a long time ago. How come you hate who you are? For some people, it's too late to change the damage they've done. He's hiding something. I want him dead. Really? The things you bury tend to haunt you. Why did you disappear? Hey, old man! Try this. Come on.